Would you like to know something different about the Nigerian man? Would you like to hear something different aside all the love and care, hard working, being smart, being a good father? Would you like to know about the good, the bad and the ugly of the Nigerian man? Then go ahead and watch this video because I'm about to unleash a dragon. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm about to unleash the dragon, so stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary and your girl and I'm super excited to be here as always. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Help me grow know so that I can give you more gist and if you are my subscriber I really do appreciate you so let's move right into the gist of today mm. huh. Nigerian man the good the bad and the ugly hmm huh. where do I begin just where do I begin all right you know when you want to say something about someone you know, to start from the good, you yeah. know how I always told you about Nigerian men, how they are good fathers, good good boyfriends, uh, spend their money on you, be good, be this, be that. Of course, we also have our flaws because everything that has a positive side also has a negative side. That is how we are built. Everyone is built in this way every nationality is built in this way i am sure if i ask you hmm, how do men from your own country behave i am sure everyone can say something it doesn't mean that every man is that way right it doesn't mean that so this is just for me saying to you that this video doesn't mean that all nigerian men actually act this way it is just my own humble opinion about how i would answer that question nigerian men the good the bad and the ugly just keep it light keep it light it's just a discussion it's just a gist the nigerian man actually knows how to excel in almost all that he does a nigerian man is a man that puts his spirit his soul his body everything into what he wants to achieve yes he puts everything into that thing if he wants that thing he goes for it with everything with all full force all energy no holding back that is true about an Nigerian man but you know what they say that whatever has a positive side also has a negative side they love to enjoy life they love the good things of life and they can go far and wide to achieve it. Yes, a Nigerian man loves, loves, loves the good things of life. If he has the money, he wants the best, the best cars, the best house, the best of anything. It is very, very, very true about the Nigerian man. He takes care of himself, his family, and those that he wanted to take a Nigerian care. man is smart and intelligent. A Nigerian man is very industrious. A Nigerian man, not only is he industrious, he is a business tycoon. He knows how to grow a company. He knows how to grow a business. He knows anything concerning a business, especially the evil man I'm not doing the tribe thing but I'm just telling you the evils are the business tycoons of Nigeria that is true that is very true but I'm just telling you generally Nigerians are very very industrious they are business tycoons then Nigerian man mm -hmm, he's fine <laughs> he's one fine man and you know that is handsome you know they are built in this kind of way you know oh manly masculine macho that is my Nigerian man and they are tall mm -hmm. Nigerians are tall people they are not short people of course we have some average heighted men but short 
very few so nigerians you'll find you'll actually find most nigerian men looking tall huge handsome that's the good one uh -huh. so okay. nigerian men are good fathers they are very good fathers they know how to take care of their wives their, their children and their families yes that's true another thing a nigerian man is a strict father i'm sure i've mentioned most of these things before he tries to train up his children in the way that they should go so that they will not depart from it and i think it's a good thing let's just tell the good about the nigerian man right here and move on to the bad mm -hmm. so you have heard it just like everything that has a good side also has a bad side right okay so let's start he's a good liar a pretty damn good liar. He's a good liar. A Nigerian man can lie. Hmm. Hmm. Not all. Those who do. They can lie. A Nigerian man can give you a perfect lie. But uh, you can actually catch a Nigerian man with a woman. And he will go ahead and defend himself to you. He may tell you that that's his cousin, that's his sister. <laughs> it is that bad. If he's a liar, if he can lie, <laughs> then my dear, if he can lie, he can lie, and he can lie good. I mean it. He can lie good. Another bad thing about the Nigerian man is they stick smartness for one. He is smart, but sometimes he channels his smartness into very very negative things that is true take for example they are good in scamming yeah they scam a lot they do not all nigerian men remember i'm telling you some never seen all never some nigerian men and those few ones who do these things i'm just telling you what they do some nigerian men they scam and when they go out as camp, they go out with all their energy, with all full force, like I tell you. So everything that has a positive has a negative. They can scam. And when they go in to play this game, my goodness, you will never realize that you are being scammed. The, the, sorry, the rate of scamming is sometimes very alarming. Even in Nigeria. When I was in Nigeria, my God, you can just be there and you find your money being deducted from the ATM. Your ATM card is with you at home, but you find that someone is withdrawing your money. This is so bad. Yeah, they are that bad. They can do that. So that is why when I say keep your personal information away from people you do not know, I'm not joking. Only with few information about you, they can break into your account. <laughs> I mean it. They can break into your account. So girl, <laughs> be careful don't joke don't joke at all they can do that they are that smart yeah that's the bad about the nigerian man yeah he can defraud you they have different types they do they have from the ones that just do the little little scamming to those who do the average type to those who do the medium type and those who do the international fraud they have all of them be careful be careful okay. Another bad thing about the Nigerian man is that some of them are players, real good players, real good players. That's what they are. You know, try to stop it. Stop it, sweetie. Stop it. He's a real good player. When I mean a real good player, a Nigerian man can actually play with three ladies living in the same city and they won't even know or living in the same surroundings and they won't even know that he's playing them i'm telling you that's the players i mean the ones who play they can actually do that to you they can actually play with you and you know the funny thing about it he's gonna treat all of you special <laughs> he's gonna treat all of you so special that you won't even realize that someone who's treating you this special can actually treat someone else that special you know why treating a woman special 
is something that a Nigerian man does. So when he goes to other ladies, he knows. He knows he's supposed to treat them special. So he does that. Never take him treating you so special to be that he's sincere. If you meet a player, if you meet a player, he does this. That is the truth. That is the bad about the Nigerian man. Put it in your mind. That's the bad. Remember, don't ever think that because you were being treated special, he may fool you with this. Don't let him do that, girl. Don't let him it's do that. something else you should know about Nigerian man. Something else that is really bad that he does is that we call it mouthy. I don't know what you call it out there in America, in the UK, in other places in the world, but we call it that a man is mouthy. When the man has, sorry, when the man has, when the mouth can run. Mm -hmm. You know that moment when you have a little quarrel with a Nigerian man. Yes. If he's out for you, you may go home crying. You may actually go home crying. Really, really, especially if you meet those crazy ones. You know, a guy who's been praising you all along could suddenly start cursing you and telling you stories of your life. Some of them, some of them, not my real Nigerian men. I'm telling you of what some of these Nigerian men can do. And this is what they can do. A Nigerian okay. man can be very loud. Oh my God. Nigerians generally are kind of loud people. We are this kind of a very, you know, our spirit, we're high spirited, we're enthusiastic. And so some of us can be very loud when we talk. <laughs> I'm telling you. Sometimes people tell me, Miriam, I don't believe you're Nigerian. I'm like, what? I'm Nigerian. Don't mistake the voice. <laughs> but seriously, we can be loud. Like, you know, when you see some Nigerians, when they talk, when you see a group of Nigerians talking, they are actually talking and making jokes. Or if you're far away or nearby, you think they're fighting. So loud and extremely loud that it's so annoying. Some people go overboard and become so loud, which is annoying. Like as a man or as a, you know, as a man, you should know, tone down the voice. You already have that high pitch, you already have that loud voice. So why are you talking? Sometimes they just get irritated. You know, when I'm passing by and I see two Nigerian guys talking and talking so loud, or sometimes even in the train, sometimes in the buses, even here, I look at them and I'm like, I feel like to tell them, please guys, can you just turn it down? Turn your mouths down low. I want to say that sometimes to let me end this bad part guys, with being loud. That and let's move right into mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the ugly of the night. Ah, I forgot to mention something. Talking about the loud, the people who are loudest are actually the Yorubas. That's true. The Yorubas are actually the loudest when they talk. Yes, I'm not gonna lie to you. Every every tribe has what they're known for. Don't worry, I'm coming to the evils. You will know what they're known for. But for the Yorubas, they're kind of extremely loud and very noisy when they talk. But not all of them. Remember what I'm telling you, some of them. Some of them. Okay, so let's move to the ugly of the Nigerian man. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I hope Nigerian men don't kidnap me one of these days. I'm just sharing my views. It's just my personal views. Oh. Just my own personal views. Yeah, Joe. Be cool. I'm begging you people. Ndono, Pico, Jaw. Don't know if I got it. Little real long jaw. Okay, so that was, I just spoke Igbo and Yoruba at the same time. So let's move on. Subscribe. The ugly. Girl, do you know what the ugly is about the Nigerian man? Yes, baby. You don't know. Listen and learn, girl. Just listen and learn, and you will know. Hmm. His love for money. His love for money is the root of all his ugliness. 
the love of money is the root of all I repeat in Nigerian man's ugliness so you see this thing called money money is good and also bad if you use it positively and you try to find it positively it is good if you use it negatively and also try to acquire it negatively it's ugly so this is why I classify it as being ugly you know what in Nigerian, in Nigerian man's love for money can push him to do lots of nasty things do not get me wrong some Nigerian men, I always have to add, some Nigerian men, their love of money could push them to do ugly things. Like I have said, they are hardworking, they are everything in the good part to achieve money. So also will you find those people, those negative few that go through any means possible to achieve it. Even if they have to kill. Yes. Even if they have to kill. Even if they have to scam. Even if they have to, to, to sell you, their brother, their sister, their wife, their children. They do it. <laughs> and you know what? Without mincing words, you know the tribe who is more guilty of this? the evils. I'm married to evil. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am married to evil. But this is the truth. The evils are guilty of this. As much as they are the most business, you know, inclined, you will still see those negative few that will always do these things that are so bad. And it is terrible. But it doesn't mean just the Igbo man. All national, sorry, all tribes do it. But those that are mostly known for doing this are the Igbos. The Yorubas do it. The Hausas do it. The Ishakiris, the Jaws, the Bibios. Yeah, every tribe, they do it. But the thing is, the Igbo man is number one in it. So that is the ugly. And why it's so ugly is that they can actually fight for money. The evil man having some argument or quarrels with another evil man or with another person, whoever you are, because of money. <laughs> he could go to the extent of killing you because of money. It doesn't matter who you are to him. He could go as far as killing you just because of money yes it is that bad okay do not take it in a negative way because i said they do these things and they're gonna kill you because of money no i'm talking about the extreme cases and number two it is those negative nigerian men you know how i always tell you like you see the ones scamming nigerian man you see them scamming acquiring trying to acquire in a negative way this is what I'm talking about. Trying to acquire in a negative way. My so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bringing to you, Nigerian men, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you love this video, come on, please. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And now you know about Nigerian men. You know how to follow them. That is the thing. But the thing is, you may just not get anyone who is this bad. Of course, you don't want someone who's going to do all these things to you. You want a real Nigerian man who will treat you right and who is everything good. Okay, so do not worry. Bring in to you soon the different types of Nigerian men so that you understand the different types and calibers of Nigerian man. This is malicious, your girl. Do have a lovely day. Do have a happy day. And stay happy. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.